We are six months into 2015 now, and it's been a pretty solid but not amazing year for games so far. So just before we get slammed with a mountain of releases at the end of the year, here are my top five games of 2015 so far and the ones I have to highly recommend that you play. I'm Alana, welcome to Button Bash. Number five is Pillars of Eternity a PC, OS X, and Linux game that released on March 26th. It's a classic RPG-style journey that pretty clearly aims to inspire the same kind of magic and depth as Baldur's Gate, but with the intense dungeon-style combat of Icewind Dale. Combat is real-time and nostalgically isometric, but it can also be hugely diverse, since there's a whole wad of character customization with six different, unique, playable races. So you've got fun combat, a rich world reminiscent of other classic titles, but Pillars of Eternity's genuinely emotional writing and honestly kind of mature themes really helped to tie it all together. In complete contrast to that, number four is Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is an award-winning indie title with an 8-bit retro aesthetic. The game, developed by Yacht Club Games, was ported to PS3, PS4, Vita, and Xbox One in April this year, and the ports are just as good as the original release. It's basically a 2D side-scrolling action-adventure where you play a shovel knight with a shovel blade, a sweet, multi-purpose weapon. The story is cute and totally entertaining in its tasteful humour, but the gameplay is incredible. The platforming, the crazy, fairly challenging boss fights, plus stunning art design and infectious music too. Shovel Knight ticks a lot of boxes. Next up, Bloodborne. Our number three is a PS4 exclusive action RPG directed by Haritaka Miyazaki and developed by From Software. Bloodborne has you hunting for answers in the city of Yanam, a gothic, brutal, oddly shiny place which has been very fittingly described as wet looking, that have been torn apart by a strange illness. Death and madness stalk the streets, and hey, so do you. Armed with a singular arsenal of weaponry, which could be a saw cleaver, a gun, or a scythe, but each option has different uses. There are traps, ruins, underground labyrinths, and a ton of challenge. The world is beautifully designed even in its creepiness with tons of hidden secrets. Being that it's developed by From Software, it is kind of similar to Demon's Souls and Dark Souls, but I feel like Bloodborne is a little easier to manage. Number two, which is slightly cheating, but let's do it anyway, is Grand Theft Auto V on PC. GTA V features the sun soaked Los Santos City based on Los Angeles and the dust-ridden Blaine County, plus a team of three pretty diverse playable characters on a mission to pull off big, intense heists in hopes of setting them up for life with the big bucks. On PC, there's all the extra stuff that came with the next-gen console versions of the game, but with really, really smooth gameplay and breathtaking graphics. So let's wait no longer. Number one is, of course, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Welcome, Traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. It's another action RPG, and easily CD Projekt Red's biggest game, plus one of the biggest RPGs I've ever played. The map is enormous, the scale of the game is huge, the depth is intimidating. I mean, your actions decide the fate of entire communities. The combat is also much simpler than previous titles, which I really have to praise. It's so much smoother, faster, and more intuitive. There's also just loads of stuff to do, from hunting down a mighty variety of monsters to collecting and playing with the in-game Gwent cards. You can basically spend the rest of your life playing this game, and I frankly have to encourage it. It came out in May for next-gen consoles and PC. So there we have it. Those are my top five picks for games from January 2015 to June 2015. We had Pillars of Eternity, Shovel Knight, Bloodborne, Grand Theft Auto V on PC, and The Witcher 3. What an awesome bunch of totally different epic gaming experiences. I'm Alana, and thank you for watching Button Mash.